Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So if you're watching this video, there's a pretty high chance that you're not really sure how to define yourself. You aren't really sure how to translate what's within to the outside world. And honestly, I'm glad you're here because it's good to look for someone to help you. <laughs> it's good to ask for advice on this because it's not easy figuring out who you are deep down. Finding your aesthetic means finding yourself. It means finding your personality or whoever you want to be in the moment at the time. This video is not an aesthetic quiz. Uh, I've seen so many of those on YouTube and honestly, I think they're very limiting. There's only like four choices and they're all just aesthetics that are really like popular at the time. And this video is really supposed to be catered towards you and your exceptionally unique personality. I will say though that those are pretty good at narrowing down. It's really important to narrow down um, these ideas that you have of yourself because that's how you get a really good concrete aesthetic. Um, so if you wanna try out those videos, go right ahead. But uh, if you think you're a little bit more than four different aesthetics, then stay tuned. If you are a subscriber, then it's possible that you know about my series, How to Be Ethereal. And my most recent episode of that series was about how to create a persona. And that's pretty much very much related to this video that I'm doing right now, because a persona is like a character that you create and your aesthetic is just a series of traits and characteristics and out an outward appearance that is supposed to tell people what your persona is. And I also briefly described in that video how in high school specifically, I was really, really into like trying to figure out like my persona and how people perceived me. And I uh, really tried to like understand who I was and what my persona was, what my aesthetic was at the time. So basically your aesthetic is a kind of theme for your personality. So in this video, I'm going to try to get you to think a little bit more keenly about your personality. And I kind of have an assignment for you. And believe me, this assignment is fun because it's pretty much all about you. So have fun being intensely selfish for a while. All right, number one in this video to try and get you started to figuring out what your aesthetic is. Now, I'm not a big fan of TikTok or anything, but whenever I was visiting a friend of mine, she was telling me about this trend on TikTok uh, that's called like hashtag escape place, escape world. And it's basically where people create a TikTok featuring like three different places that they would want to escape to and that coincide with their aesthetic. And I highly recommend doing this as a kind of first step, as a kind of intermediate step into just getting, you know, just turning your brain on, just trying to like pinpoint at least something, you know, a kind of shot in the dark of who you are, what your aesthetic is. Um, what I like most about these like escape places is that they're, they're places that you think of where you're away from people. So there's not like a social, integration there. It's very much true to who you really are, these escape places, because they're places that you think about being alone in. So I think they're really interesting in that way. And not to mention as a first step, as an intermediate step, these TikToks are, it's easier to think of a place than it is to answer specific questions about things that you like. So definitely do this as the first step before we get into all the other stuff. Do the TikTok first. Basically, I want you to have this atmosphere in your head and then we're going to figure out how to place you into that atmosphere. Number two, the second thing that I want you to do is, and I'm going to provide help with this, it's an extensive list of questions that I personally used in high school to uh, figure out my aesthetic and what my persona was. It's basically a list of favorites. And I listed one to three things underneath every single question. And when you answer these, try to be as specific as possible. Try to answer with you know as strong a feeling as you can. I'm going to provide the list here right now. 
I suggest going back and screenshotting that. And then whenever you have the time, print it out, write down the questions, whatever you want, sit, pour yourself some tea, light a candle, and answer all of the questions. Have a beautiful little narcissistic self-enrichment session with yourself. Now, after doing this list of favorites that I just gave you, you're probably like gonna be in the zone. So what I suggest is that after doing that, come back to this video and I'm gonna do a little ASMR session with you guys. What I'm gonna ask is that you guys close your eyes, don't talk and just listen to me read out this kind of script that I have here. Um, and this is one of those like psychology imagination test things for you to like visualize things that I'm talking about for yourself. So just sit back and relax. And we're gonna have a really nice time. <clears throat> You're walking through a neighborhood. You step on something that makes you stumble a bit, so you look down at your shoes for a second. You look underneath and all around the ankle. It must have just been a large pebble. But you continue on your walk, and you note the time of day. What a great time to be out and about. The sight of the street and all the surroundings really make you feel at peace. You instinctively turn right. This is your home. Those are the first numbers of your address right there on the mailbox and the facade of the house. You've always liked the way those numbers complemented the house. You walk up to the door and caress the handle. It's good to have a place to return after a long walk. You feel the urge to really take in the inside of your home this time, to really appreciate this place of sanctity. You walk about the foyer and take off your shoes. You take in all the small decorative details you spent so much time looking for to make everything just right. You turn into the kitchen and make yourself a drink. You then rest on the side of the refrigerator, taking in the color and texture of the floor and the walls, outlining the furniture. You open the refrigerator for a snack. You look around once more, concentrating on the variety of objects making up the space. You feel good in here, but you know you'll feel better in the living room, where you can sit comfortably. You take your drink and snack and sit on the couch, feeling the upholstery. This is where you feel most of your personality is. All your specific personal touches, right in this room like if your soul was translated into architecture and decor. The lighting, the atmosphere, the smell, the colors. You eat your snack and sip your drink slowly. You sink deeper into the sofa. You can even feel the objects placed in this room and where they relate to you spatially, like they're people. You finish your food and place the drink on the surface of your choosing. Now you decide you want to go into the bedroom and play some music. You walk up a flight of steps and feel the house transition a bit to something similar but varied slightly. You take a quick peek into the mirror in the bathroom next to your bedroom. You brush your hair behind your ear, smooth out your clothes, turn off the light, and move on. Your eyes trail the floor on the second level on the way to your bedroom. You even notice the junction of the wall and floor today. You slowly enter the bedroom and allow your fingers to trail the edges and crevices of the furniture until you get to the music player of your choosing. You turn on the music and the melody seeps out of the speakers. You can hear it bounce off the walls and today you really notice those walls how you've decorated them, the texture, the color, and the floor, the floor your bare feet have found themselves on. You lay down on the edge of the bed and curl your fingers into the sheets. You're so glad that you chose these sheets. They really complement the room, really bring it all together. You look up again and your eyes graze the ceiling. 
the edges of the windows, and the tops of pieces of furniture. You really take a second to let all the elements soak in. Let them unify like a constellation. You pull yourself up, step towards the music player, and shut it off. You exit the bedroom, shuffle down the stairs, into the foyer, put on your shoes, and you're out the front door again. You plant yourself right where you started and stare back up at your home. You outline it, retrace it, recolor it, and let its shape embed into the back of your mind. All those details, all those pieces of you. You can open your eyes again. Was that fun? Did you have a good time? So the first part of this video was kind of just to like flick your brain on the TikTok. The second part of the video was to really get you to actualize your, your skeleton, your, your flesh, your body, what that body is, that body of your personality, of your persona, of your aesthetic, the, the specifics. And then the third is kind of like a practice in atmospheric as well as metaphorical manifestation. The home that you created in your mind is a direct reflection of who you are. And if you watch my persona video um, for the series, How to Be Ethereal, I did that kind of metaphorical manifestation with a tree in a completely different exercise with one of my teachers in college. But um, actually this house, like psychological thing, I also did in college, another teacher, I don't know why so many teachers like to do this to us in the school that I went to, but that was the second time I had a teacher kind of do this psyop on us. But basically, I felt that these exercises would be good at at least trying to get you thinking about more concrete principles of who you are, of your persona, of your aesthetic. Um, your persona and your aesthetic are going to always be intertwined and it's important that you are unique and that you, like I didn't just pick the favorites thing for nothing. I didn't pick any of these things just, just to pull them out of my butt. Like they're important because you wanna be different. You don't wanna be part of like a quiz, one of four things, like a multiple choice answer. Like you wanna be somebody that's entirely your own. You wanna be you. So I try to make this video as a little bit more complex than the other aesthetic videos so that you can really like reach inside and figure out who you are. And um, I also wanted to make this video uh, in addition because I think that today like with social media and our society is just so, so um, hyperactive and it's, it's so easy to lose yourself in the identity of others and like what others want, what's popular, you know, what the standards are. And you really need to just like take a moment to step back and like think about you and what you really want. And a lot of these little exercises that I asked you to do are ways to almost get your subconscious to start talking instead of you just saying things that you, you're you regurgitating from social media or like what you see all the time. So that's why I did those little exercises because I wanted you guys to really think about you and your unique traits and your qualities. Hopefully at the end of this video, it gives you some kind of semblance of what your aesthetic is, at least gets you started um, on the path there. Please let me know in the comments if this did help. Uh, constructive criticism is great. Uh, let me know if you have any better ideas. Um, let me know if this was successful for you. And I hope that you were able to either find your aesthetic, clarify it, or get started on that journey through this video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe as always, and I will see you next week. Bye.